Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about task schedule. So you can set, set a cron job. So how you can set a cron job with scheduling. So here uh, we are using Laravel 8 already. So now we have the some step. What is the importance of the cron job? Why we need to use this cron job? So here we are going to discuss about suppose if you want to send particular specific specific uh, duration time suppose you want to send every minute something one notification if you want to send a particular duration something suppose uh, you want to wish uh, someone in birthday birthday anniversary so how you can create such kind of functionality so you have the multiple uh, lag, lags of data so how you can schedule automatically will send you can't remember memorize that the uh, Siddharth birthday particular this state so you can create a scheduler something okay so this is really a fantastic video i am going to show you everything step by step guys so hope so this is really help for you so first of all might be this is clear picture uh, in your brain so how how we can uh, set the clone job we will discuss about but might be you know what is clone job basically so clone job basically we can set a particular time duration so if you a specific time duration suppose if you want to send message mail um, birthday wishes and any any specific type of uh, suppose i want to send mail you uh, if every two minutes something different different users so i can set a quick something also so these are these are the functionality we can use in clone job also we will use scheduler so also this is a really interesting topic guys so let me show you something so whenever you creating the uh, scheduler you need to put the uh, some code inside the console or uh, we we will discuss about how we have done and how we can need to improve this like this, uh, everything so we will discuss about okay so now also i am going to show you you can check out suppose if you want to run a task like this something crone start start something this method run the task the custom crone scheduler if you want to set something about the particular time duration so you can set here something year month month date and uh, hours minutes seconds something so you can put that like in star 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 something okay now every minutes if you want to send a mail so any kind of mail or if you want to send a particular not only mail we can schedule we can set up the database if you want to truncate the data after 10 seconds something if so these are the functionality we can use in cron job so might be hope so this pictures is clear in mind every two minutes you want to send something every three minutes every four minutes every five minutes so these are the method in laravel have already predefined so you know no need to write a sim such kind of functionality storage or something so you can automatically set like this one early early so we have the multiple so suppose you want to daily and daily add something 1 pm something every time so you this is the method you can use okay so early met method if you want to say a specific time so we will discuss about different things also you can set a time zone whatever time zone you want okay so hope so guys this picture is clear now no? suppose if you want to have command something we will create a command so how we can create a command also or we will discuss about in this tutorials okay so here are the some uh, pictures might be clear in your mind so first of all we need to create a command once you create the command you need to in, in, uh, insert the kernel and also we need to put some command inside the command whatever we command we have created we need to put the particular name of the command okay so once we add it then we can request request with we have the functions inside of the command like handle so we will accept every hand uh, request inside the handle method i will show you don't worry about it so also we have the methods like weekend weekdays sunday monday tuesday wednesday whatever date you want you can schedule really this is a fantastic video guys and uh, okay so now uh, suppose uh, so how we can do that such I such might be this picture is clear uh, might be this video is lengthy might be boring so whatever co comments you want put the comment section definitely I will try to improve everything so I am waiting for your comment guys okay so now let me show you I have done, done guys everything in this blog also also same code i have uploaded in my github repository also if you want to multiple codes so please guys follow me in github and uh, also uh, subscribe my channel and uh, look i have the repository i have added the 62 repository and also i have the more code guys but uh, once you subscribe my channel and uh, 
touch with me definitely this channel will really help for you real programmer just to go inside a real programmer channel this is my channel guys and uh, let me show you in incognito mode once you get the my channel you need to subscribe my channel click on the subscribe button okay click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to look i have added the multiple tutorials guys look uh, we have django we have the laravel 7 we have the laravel 8 so hindi english everything i have uploaded uh, so whatever suitable for you guys please subscribe okay so now get in touch with me and now let's inside of the tutorials whatever we are going to discuss okay so first of all you need to create a laravel so once you install the laravel 8 what you need to do once you successfully install the laravel you need to configure your database also i am using mail so i am not going to show you my uh, configuration setting so i will explain you why i am not showing because i have added here the email con email setting basically and email id and password something so if you don't know how to send an email also i have uh, made the already specify a specific video how to send an email in laravel 8 if you don't know please watch this video okay so hope so this picture is clear we need to install laravel once you install the laravel 8 you need to configure database okay also you need to put the email configuration so uh, you if you want to email configuration i will also put inside of the here so might be this pictures also clear for you okay so once you email configure also successfully done here then what you need to do you need to create a custom artisan command so guys we need to add the custom uh, command basically also so look once you added the command update something this is your command basically you want to update this particular command so you can update and once you successfully add the uh, run this command what you need to do go inside of the app console command minutes update something so we have added this command basically minutes update so once you successfully added then what you need to do we have by default user model so what i am doing here we have the user model uh, so i am using user model and mail functionality the mail library basically we are using here okay so this is the important things let me show you we have guys uh, sorry yes yes we have the guys uh, let me show you kernel so first of all we have the kernel so inside of the kernel also we need to uh, let me no no i'm inside of the console he, here we have the kernel okay we have the kernel inside of the kernels i have added command which is a minute update something whatever uh, uh, whatever you have created suppose if you have created like a birthday basis so you can update here birthday basis so a specific time duration also you can send i uh, i already updated the here we have the scheduler you can schedule your mail whatever commands you created command will like this name so we have the put it name like minute update colon update so every minute so i have added here okay so now whatever uh, commands you have created don't forget to write the command syntax here so basically not a syntax basically this is a name of the command minute colon update we have added so how we know this is a command basically look we have the update column here we have the put at the signature this is a signature of the command suppose your name is siddharth my name is siddharth basically so my signature is siddharth something so you need to put here so we have the unique uh, name kind of thing so we need to put here uh, so if you want to some descriptions about the uh, anything so you can put here the description also uh, we are handling the request if anyone hitting the request we are uh, getting all data from the database we have already added so if you don't know how to create a database this kind of functionality guys i have already done okay so might be sub suppose you have the data we are fetching all data from the database because we are using orm then i had added here this line okay don't forget to write mail function also if you're using mail okay so i have put it this particular offline sub code then what we need to do we going to handle the request whatever data we have the way uh, running the for each loop and inside the for each loop we have the mail functions and we sending the mail okay rom rom this is automatic generated whatever uh, subject lines you want to you put put yeah, sorry not in the subject line whatever uh, body text you want you can put here inside of the rom 
okay method so once we have the uh, message these are functions and we getting the all data from the fetching from the database and we sending the mail uh, using prom method this ma this is my email id i have put it here and whatever uh, user email we have the inside of the database we using for each loop then we printing in the object something format which we have the subject with the minute, minute update once you add the successfully uh, run, run command basically we will uh, check out the this is coming or not guys I am explaining you in the local host this is a my local host if you want to uh, run in the server definitely if you running the server your uh, every request will send one time basically if you want to check in the server definitely you uh, every minute if you want to uh, then your uh, command will flow uh, work perfectly and your request will send every minute something so now we are using local host that's why this is uh, I will show you single time something so let me show you so might be this picture is clear now so these are the method i have already explained about the laravel tutorials website and now we have the kernel i have already explained this about now we need to run this command php artisan schedule run let me show you yes i have already added here let me show you uh, this is taking little bit time just because you're sending the email so now i am going to inside of the my email let me show you yes we have received the mail okay look this is automatically generated emails let me remove this one yes now this is working fine guys and if you want to uh, check everything's about the server how this is working guys i will create a separate video also if you have any doubt related with this video please let me know definitely i will try to explain you step by step okay so thank you for watching this video